What's going on everybody? We are all back at it again. It's, this is my personal second Criterion haul video. If you haven't watched the first one, go check it out. I know that I look greasy and sweaty, but it is like over 90 degrees where I'm at, so cut me some slack. Um, very hot. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, without further ado, let's go. <laughs> Beau Travail. This is a film, this is a Claire Denis film that I haven't seen. The only Claire Denis film I have seen is High Life, and I really liked High Life. Mm -hmm. But if anybody's really into Claire Denis, what, what do you think the next film from her I should check out? Because I'm pretty curious. Yep, yep. I've Band seen... Google. Shout out to Mike. Yep. What were we going to say? Oh, no, I've just seen y'all actually pull that one out many times. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, the cover it sticks out pretty well, I'd say. Eh. This is actually, uh, this is Mitchie's other $20 patron tier pick. I'm really excited about this because it's from Billy Wilder. God, this is be falling. <laughs> God. So, yeah, there we go. You smack it back there. Um, <laughs> this is a Billy Wilder film. He's gotten me huge into Billy Wilder at this point. Um, I've seen Sunset Boulevard. I've seen uh, some like it hot, uh, Double Indemnity, which is a film that I hope to find here because they just released it on 4K. That, that film's fantastic. So mm -hmm. this is another one from him that I haven't seen yet that I hear a lot of great things about. So I'm going to buy it, watch it, and review it eventually. Oh. So breaking the waves on that. Great movie with a bad ending. <laughs> I would agree. I, I was not too happy with it just because it felt like they, uh, he was trying to clarify what he wanted the audience exactly. to, to me, take like, from the ending. The, the ambiguity kind of got erased and I didn't Yeah, like and he did such a great job building that why destroy it by having that implant at the end. But whatever, that's their own art. I know it's so, a controversial thing. Yeah, <laughs> hot um, take. Brazil, obviously I own this already. I just need to point it out because whenever I come yeah, across this, this is the most ingenious, the, mo the most genius social satire I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> You do. <laughs> you're, you're giving it Something the like face that. down, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, this is probably gonna be a must buy because I put this back last time. Yeah. So, yep, decent. Yeah, that's the one with the nice dive of. Uh, nice dive of what? Oh gosh, I mean the, the <laughs> nice dive of the psychology of one's morals and the decisions that come to them and what makes a person man. <laughs> that's good. I'll I don't it. know. People are trying to survive. Camera person. Uh, I, I shouted this out last time, but great, great documentary. Yes. Love it. Um, I like documentaries. They are fun. Oh, Blue Velvet. Oh, he touched it, guys. Honestly, I'm kind of sad that the meme is dead. I know, me too. <laughs> that I, was such a fun meme where shout, I, would always, uh -huh. I would always pick this up and put it back and never buy it. But I finally did, eventually. But. Uh, I was doing <laughs> a little small me. shout out to the... Like, I'm sorry, I don't know your name on, on the comment where he was like, you should buy it again. Oh yeah, someone yeah, did say that. Yeah, I was no. like, you got me, that's hilarious. I know I always talk about The Cremator, but I have to shout it out again. Like every single time I see this movie, yeah. I'm always wondering like if there's a new viewer, you know, I, I always need to give this film some exposure because this to me is a masterpiece. Uh, Czechoslovakian masterpiece. It's true. <laughs> just gonna add that in there. I'm gonna stop tripping and just go ahead and get this because I saw it, I try to avoid <laughs> it until now, but I, this is a must buy. This is what The Celebration. Exactly? Oh, celebration from uh, Thomas v Thomas Vinterberg. Um, this to me is a masterpiece. This is 10 out of 10. I have a whole review on this, so please check it out. Um, this was made in the Dogma 95 movement where I believe it was Von Trier that wrote out the rules where it would basically restrict filmmakers to utilize an insanely low budget and make it to where they had to make a compelling film with sticks and stones. And that's how we got films like The Celebration and Julian Donkey Boy and other films of that nature. Uh, even Lars Von Trier's The Idiots. Mm -hmm. But this to me... I mean, I haven't seen all, I've only seen a few of them, but this, this to me is just like insanely compelling filmmaking. It's just another demonstration of how Vinterberg knows how to handle such heavy and mature themes in a way that comes from somebody who you can tell has an understanding of these subjects and it's explored incredibly well. I, I'm really, really happy about this. I, I love this film to death. This is one of my favorite films of all time now, hands down. That's so, awesome. I very and, much like it very much And again, much that's why well. the cover's like this, because it's, uh, you know, it was, it was part of that movement where it would restrict them to, to you know, just film with the bear filming with stick and sticks and yeah. stones, so the cover's like I this. I feel that way when you have very good writing. I feel like you have very good writing and mm -hmm. you have good control of what, how, how you said you want everything to be interpreted. It's, yeah. it, you do very well with just very minimum. Yeah, as long as you have the vision and yep. you know what you want to do, like, all the time, it's all you need. It's compelling, and that's why I'm always like, the writing, very good writing. <laughs> very good writing. <laughs> that's all I can say. $50 patron pick from Tyree. I mean, not, not not $50, I'm sorry, a $20 patron tier. Well, not cool. This is basically a, a documentary on the Apollo missions, and I hear it's fantastic. Um, it sucks, though, because I think he wanted me to get the 4K. This isn't the 4K. Oh, Ghost Dog. Yeah, 
lately in the Discord's been talking about this movie a lot. Um, Jim Jarmusch film. I just I just recently saw I like that guy. his film Dead Man. I thought it was all right. It wasn't that huge on it, but I thought, I thought it was decent. Yep. Well, this is most most likely a must buy. Um, you know, as I mentioned, just a compelling film about a man who is certain to die and he's just contemplating his life and trying to figure out what he can do before he dies that can make him feel whole. And it's a, it's really great. I don't think I've watched that one. You haven't. I think I would like to watch that one. I think you'd like it. I think I would. Thank you, sir. S s random stranger, sir. Oh, the hero here. Bought this last time, but I'm always gonna shout the cinema because yeah. it's, it's so overlooked. Nobody ever talks about this movie. People always talk about eight and a half. Well, yeah, it's a eight and a half is fantastic. This to me kind of one ups eight and a half in a way. I know that that's a bold claim. Very but bold, this, sir. But to me, this film is just perfect in, 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 in every way possible. It's I very much like it as well. It's really great. I mean, I, again, like for the time it came out, like it's it's timeless. It, the themes are timeless. Uh, the aesthetic value is timeless. There, there's dream sequences in the hero that are just like mind blowing. I would agree. There almost was a strange, ominous tone to it, almost oh, like yeah. here and there. And Especially I was like, the "Am I?" Dream sequences. But Hain already owned this great French film. I feel like I need to get us another watch. It's been a long time, but yes. Insomnia. I guess I'll just go in the maybe pile. Yeah, because this is this is pretty good. Like I said, it has it has your boy Stellan Skarsgård in it. He's great in the film. <laughs> Skarsgård. Oh, Mr. Klein, shout out to uh, Cynic with this one. I haven't seen it yeah, yet. Yeah, shout out Cynic. But he recommended, this, uh, he recommended this, I believe, last week. And I voted for it, but it didn't win. But it seemed really interesting to me. I forgot what he even said it was about. I think it was something about somebody trying to hide amongst the Nazis or something. But oh, I could well, be that wrong. sounds interesting. Yeah, I could be completely wrong. <laughs> He's over there like, God, Carl's God. You butchered it. Here. Oh, La Piscine. Oh. Or La, la, la Piscine. Oh, is that cool? Um... This is a film that Lil Souffle loves. A lot of people in the Discord really love. I haven't seen it yet, so I'm not going to get it because I can't afford any blind buys this, this time around. But I will watch this film probably this year at some point. Also, guys, I don't know I don't know French. I don't know what that means. I don't know if it means pool. <laughs> it does, actually. Oh, the piscina? I believe, uh, I believe it does. Because piscina. <laughs> yeah. It's got that, that Spanish vibe. This is uh, another pick from Tyree, another documentary. I think he picked a lot of documentaries. Cool. So this That's is a fun. twenty dollar patron tier pick from Tyree. So I'm probably not going to get for all mankind because it wasn't on 4K, but I'm definitely going to get this because it's a must. You paid for it and yeah. it'll deliver. And also it looks interesting, and I like documentaries. The Night Cowboy, but it's on DVD. Don't want a DVD. <laughs> we don't want any of those. Those aren't good for the soul. Hop on. This is a fantastic film. It is. I blind bought it and it paid off. I thought it was fantastic. Mm -hmm. The one behind it is also very good. Yeah, shout out to, uh, I think, Souffle in the Discord who really loves oh, it. Oh, yeah. That's and, awesome. And Eric liked it a lot, too. I, I will do it, guys. I said the one behind it was very nice, too. Oh, Jean Dillman. Yeah, and I just wanted to give it my own little shout out because oh. I very much like it. Yeah. Silly. Yeah, you don't silly. Oh. Silly. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> We have not gotten to watch this one. Oh yeah, that was your blind pick. Yeah, we haven't watched it. Yeah, I, you see I, guys? I'm you a just... horrible partner for soulmate. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, this one. yes, I didn't guys. To get this. Miller's Crossing. This is a. This, this is pretty much a new release. Uh, oh, very Coen good Brothers. One. Yeah, you you like this one, I right? I did. Yeah. I thought it was pretty I impressive. It was great. Yeah, I, kept me entertained. Again, like a lot of the films that I'm picking up and talking about, I have a whole review on it. Um, I mean, it's Coen Brothers. I didn't expect anything less than great, and, and they always deliver, and it's fucking great. So, you said this was new? No, this is a, this is a new release for, oh, from okay. Criterion. Oh, okay, yeah. I was about to say, how did they do that? <laughs> <laughs> they captured it so well, back then. <laughs> This this movie is infamous oh. in the Discord. Absolutely infamous. This, this was the very first movie night uh, brought on. Well, it was. The idea for a movie night was brought on by Mike. Charlotte suggested that we all watch The Night Porter. I wasn't there for it, but I heard everybody absolutely just hated this movie. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I kind of stopped on it and I was looking at it. I was like, it looks, it looks interesting. I, again, I don't know. I, I could be wrong, but I think this is like Nazi fetish stuff. Oh. <laughs> like a Nazi fetishization kind of thing. Well, and it's not done well? Oh, Nightmare Alley. Sh shout out to the to the OG Nightmare Alley. I, I know this is going to be a hot take, but I actually kind of prefer... The new Nightmare Alley from G oh, Guillermo God. del Toro. Um, oh shit! This oh, is God. still pretty good. This is still pretty good, but I feel like there's plenty of moments that 
Del Toro was able to capture a little bit more in a compelling way. But of course, he has the advantage because he got to see the old one. And yeah. It, he has a lot of new And light. it's also maybe a little bit of his interpretation. Yeah. Still a, of his own. Know, make no mistake. Still a, still a pretty pretty great movie, regardless. <laughs> still, still top tier. Top tier. Top tier cinema. Oh. <laughs> It's all Scanners, this is a David Cronenberg film I hear a lot about, mm -hmm. but I don't I don't hear really anybody raving about it. Everybody I talk to you to say, yeah, 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 yeah. it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> it happened and uh yeah. So anybody out there in the comment section, is this what is this really worth yeah. like the time for me Defend to, to watch your it? Honor. Because I don't I don't hear anybody really you know, singing its praises like that. Make it island. <laughs> I've been I've been recommending this film so many times in Discord. Never wins. So can y'all in the comment section who have seen this, please tell everybody in the Discord to uh, vote for this film because I just feel like it's going to be such a compelling film considering the fact that it's the same director of Oni Baba and Curran Echo. And I heard this is like a visual like odyssey. Like it's all it's all told through visual means, and that's basically Carlos Core. So I'm, oh. I'm very very excited to hopefully watch it, but nobody ever <laughs> votes for it. No one likes your Carlos Core, okay? All oh, Passion Joan of Arc. Is it really only on DVD, dude? I'm be upset. Is it really only on DVD? Dang it! Dang it! Is it over here? <laughs> Persona, Piano Teacher, both fantastic films. Polyester, I really want to watch that John Waters film. I feel like I'm going to love it. The covers, yes. Dang, is this really it? Fortunately. Did That's you look good enough? Freaking bummer. Freaking bummer, bro. <laughs> Carl's right now. I already have this, but fantastic film from Lynn Ramsey. Whatever, excuse me, one of her earlier films that uh, honestly blew me away. Lynn Ramsey is, I don't know if I could say this right now with confidence, but definitely top three female directors work, working today, <laughs> in my opinion. Oh. Uh, honestly, one of my favorite directors, period, no matter female, male, whatever, then they. <laughs> I'm not, I don't. Uh, I, Lynn, same, same director as uh, You Were Never Really Here, and oh, we, we need to talk about Kevin. She's very good. Yeah. You are correct. I'm sorry for my feeble brain not remembering that. You know all these people. You just you choose nope. not to remember them. Nope. You're making a conscious choice not to remember them. All women on the verge of a nervous breakdown. Another like one, Pedro yeah. Almodovar film. Oh, The Wages of Fierce. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly a fantastic film. Every time I see him, I'm like, oh. Another Almodovar film. Um, Mitchy wanted me to get Tie Me Up, Tie Me Down, but I don't see that anywhere. And I checked on I checked online, and that's, that's not available at any Barnes & Noble. And I heard it's because it's going out of print due to the fact that when they released it, it had the Blu-ray and DVD combo, and now they're just transitioning. They're, they're transitioning it to just Blu-ray, mm. so they're kind of getting rid of all those combo packs and just putting out the Blu-ray. Oh. And I think that's why, like, no one can find it right now. True Kinda stories. Sucks. This is a oncoming storm, twenty-dollar Patreon pick. So this is a must-buy. Oh. All I know is that it's directed by David Byrne, who it's is uh, the lead man in the band Talking Heads. Oh. So. I'm really interested. This this guy. You know this guy, Jen. I you do may, know this you guy. You may find yourself. Oh, he's so sweaty. In another part of the world. Yeah. <laughs> this is really good uh, philosophy and psychology. Though. <laughs> Not kidding. Philosophy and psychology. Jen's favorite words. <laughs> I don't know what they mean exactly, but everybody throws them out there. <laughs> the blue line. I think I'm going to pick it up this time. Oh. Yeah, great documentary. I want to watch this with you, Jen. Like, really. uh oh. I think, I think you'd like it a lot. You think? Yeah. I like that. I like curated films for me. A bunch of uncut jams. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of uncut. You weren't kidding. There's a lot of look at Little uncut, solid gold. Get them all. I'll have all of them. <laughs> Valerie and her Week of Wonders. Honestly, this is a film that I would definitely blind buy if I could. Oh, it's you know, you know I, I'm so interested in it. I might, I might put it in here. It's doing it. It's happening. I'm not saying I'm going to get it, but if there's not a lot of must buys, but I don't, I don't remember because the stats getting a little hectic. Yep. Taste of Cherry, obviously. Fantastic Kiarostami film. This one. Um, Good stuff. How about that one? Yes. This is a Roman Polanski movie. The, the Rapist. Oh. Yeah. Is that... That, that... That doesn't mean the movie's bad. That doesn't oh. mean that the filmmaker's bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Is he... He's bad. Oh, that's what he is? He's a bad person. Oh. Oh, bad person. Good art, though? Good art? Uh, I... So far, I'd say so. Oh, okay. Good he, art, then. He made The Pianist. That was a fantastic piece. Oh. That's really all I'm going to get, though. Oh, so disappointment. Hmm. Oh, by the way, I watched uh, Sex, Lies, and Videotapes. Oh, Sex, Lies, and Videotape. And it was all right. I mean, I liked it, but I wasn't that huge on it. Jin didn't like it at all. 
Oh, I don't, yeah. No trouble. Bought this last haul. One of my, one of the most satisfying purchases last haul. Graduation. Yes. Christian, Christian Mungu, I think is how you pronounce it. He also made four months, three weeks, two days. This and that film, both fantastic. Really, really great. Yes, I would most definitely agree. Sucks, I didn't see Double Indemnity, which is pretty disappointing. I mean, online it said that it wasn't here, but sometimes, you know, sometimes yeah, they actually are here and the Barnes & Noble employees don't know what's going on. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't know what's going on. Oh, Dead Man, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is the one we watched, remember? Oh. I mentioned it earlier. Going with Johnny Depp and the, oh. the native. Yeah. yeah, it was very interesting. Do you like it enough to buy it? I, hmm. Did you get to have your own picks too? Hmm. It's like a maybe, I would say, because I, I did I did enjoy it. I felt like I had some things here. It's like a, a Dancing with the Wolves, but like a little... More cartoony. Yeah, <laughs> it's like aware of the humorous moments there, but then also I felt like it didn't need to be the length that it was in certain areas too. Yeah. Just like Dancing with the Wolves, honestly, too. Had a lot of information. I but... as maybe. Maybe at the end you can pick it up if you want. Oh, okay. Okay, we'll see. Death by Hanging. I really want to check this out. Really want to check this out. I think this is an Ozu film. No, this is not Ozu. This is Nagisa Oshima. This is a uh, made from the same documentary documentary filmmaker of Camera Person. Mm. And I hear a lot of great things about this, so this is on my radar. Can't can't really make any blind buys. Yeah. Everyone may be blind buying here because I'm so interested. But other than that, I don't know. It's like I have to have it in my hands. Oh my god, I have to. Oh, Fanny, Fanny and Alexander. Oh, this is fantastic, actually. I love Fanny and Alexander. Does this come with the, the television version? Oh, this comes with both. I don't know what all this means. This is an Ingmar Bergman film, right? Mm hmm And this is a film that he made into a miniseries because it's so long. It's like over five or six hours of material. But then they compressed it into a full-length film, which is like three hours. So they cut like two hours out of the movie just to make a movie out of it. But... The miniseries huh. has everything. It just comes with the miniseries, basically. So you, so it comes it, with the it, whole school. Yeah, post. it comes with the whole thing. It, it, it doesn't just come with the compressed theatrical version that like cuts two hours out of it. Oh, is there anything like at the front? Sometimes you have stuff like at is the front. It? And off to the front we go. Like right here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was <laughs> that was somewhere else. Oh, we haven't watched this one. What, this one? Yes, yeah, I know. We have it. Celine and Julie go boating. We haven't watched this. I was supposed to we watch are, this this week. Going I'm going to. Maybe we can get back home and we'll watch it. We will. It's happening. Brandon Alexander. All right. Remember, this is 59.99 because it's more of like a. It's a. It's comes a. With, it comes with a lot of material. Deluxe. The packaging is great. So. Uh, right now, I'll put it. It hurts to put this as a maybe. I put it as the very strong maybe. Strong maybe. Dead man. How you feeling on Dead Man? This is your pick. <sighs> Look, I would because it wasn't really. My pick. This is your pick. Mm, okay, but because I definitely... liked it, but I didn't like it that much. Okay, well, I'm in the same boat somewhat. I liked it a little bit more than you, probably. The native, natural, I don't know, bias. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, fortunately, because we have a lot of. Um, I can other... put it as a maybe. Okay, still. well, but okay. Put it as a maybe. That's nice. All right. Valley and Week of Wonders. This is a blind buy, so most likely not going to happen. But I will put it. It's a soft maybe. <laughs> <laughs> this makes no sense, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> uh, the Thin Blue Line, this is a must buy. I have to leave with it this time. Oh, okay. Woo. True Stories, this is Storm's pick. Why are you True Stories, <laughs> this is Storm's pick. <laughs> I was also wondering the same thing. Um, so that's, that has to happen. Miller's Crossing. Dang, I really love this. I'll put in the, I'll put in the must buy for now. <laughs> cool. Uh, Mind of the Gap, this is Tyree's pick. So, has to happen. Of course. I thought... This was the has to happen, and that was the maybe. What? No, this is this is it was a maybe no. These this are these happen. are these are patient picks that have to happen. I'm just separating. These are my personal picks. Oh, yeah. uh oh. <laughs> All these over here are maybe. Okay. Insomnia, probably not. I keep picking this up, thinking I'm gonna get it, but I'm, I don't. Well, think it never happens. Ikiru. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> yeah. Let the audience hear that, Carlos. I mean, just loose in there. So like loose in there. I don't like that. It's the only one. I don't like that, too. guys. <laughs> it's real sus. It's very sus. I might have to put that as a maybe, <laughs> just because of that. <laughs> I love the film too. Aww. The celebration. This is a must. One of my favorite films of all time. 
incredibly compelling stuff. Um, it is very compelling. Yes. Pretty rough watch. It is a very rough, rough, rough <laughs> watch. So rough you can't even say it. <laughs> the Ascent. I have to get it this time. I also think that's a 10 out of 10. It is. Ace in the hole. This is Mitchie's pick. So it has to happen. Oh boy. Oh boy, right. oh boy. Cool. You know, I'm gonna make one last look real quick. I'm gonna leave this Sure. Here. We will come back. Let's see if I can find any of the patron picks real quick. Sure. I'll see, look, here's you one You owe right it here. to them. I knew it. What? I freaking knew it, yeah. You almost pulled that out like you knew something. No, no, no. <laughs> mm. No, I just, I was thinking of Tyrese picks, and I'm like, I don't think I properly look, was looking for this. Oh, I'm glad you so, went back and looked. Honestly, I never heard of this film until he uh, until he requested this, and uh, it seems really interesting. It's a film yeah. about, all I know is that it's a film about, girls. it's a film about prostitution. That's yeah, all I know. working girls, sir. <laughs> So, or I'm sorry, sex workers. Yeah. Ugh. Tyree's pick, working girls. Yeah. Ace in the hole, Mitchie's pick. Yeah. Mine in the gap, another Tyree pick. Mm -hmm. And true stories, oncoming storms pick. Yes. All right. And then I got The Ascent. Mm -hmm. Fantastic film. One of the most philosophically compelling films in regards to like a moral dilemma of you know what it what it means to live a life without honor and. The consequences of that, mm -hmm. but also you can't blame him either. <laughs> um, true, true. Uh, celebration. I already talked enough about it. Fantastic film. Miller's Crossing. Cohen yeah. Brothers. Really great film. The Blue Line. An excellent documentary that um, just had a huge influence on actually saving somebody from death row, which is really compelling. That's awesome. Makes me want to cry. <laughs> so yeah. And what about uh, Akiru? I don't yep. like that guy. I don't like that. Is there another copy? You could check, but I I don't know. When I looked upon it, it was seemed to be the only one. But this good. one looked interesting. Fox and his friends. Oh yeah, I heard that's a great film. Is it? I think it's an LGBTQ film too. Oh. Yeah, cool. I think so. Well, it's, it's pretty. Yeah, this is the only copy of Ikiru. Oh, I don't like the rattling. Well, I'm gonna put it back because I see this usually everywhere I go. Oh, okay. So. That's a little true. Yeah. I know that uh, Bill, by the way, Bill Griff, he has some excellent like Criterion Hall videos. Please check his channel out. Oh. Um, he was upset that I, I didn't, last time I didn't pick a, a an Akira Kurosawa film. He's probably going to be upset again that I'm not going to get it. But it's just by chance, dude. I mean, come on, dude. You, you wouldn't buy a film that jiggle like that. Oh, wait, where is it? Did it go away? Oh, oh. there it is. Yeah. But all right. That's it, guys. I already went over my haul, right? Yeah. Oh. You went so. over the must must and the ones that. I guess you think you deserve. Are you sure you want Dead Man? No, sir, but maybe next time I'll pick out my own little. Are you sure you don't want this? No. <laughs> you seem to be really into it. No, I, I like it. I just feel like there's a lot of um, loose, kind of like. It, it just. There are questionable moves on technique and writing and other things. That I'm just like, oh. Okay. You know, it makes it feel a little bit not there for me. Out of you 10, know? what would you give this? Hmm. <sighs> I guess I would give it, it did, it was doing its own thing and it did try. So I guess like a nice soft six or solid six. Solid six? Yeah, okay. solid six kind of thing. I would give it a soft six too. So yeah. Soft solid six. It's like, it's a, it's a pretty, yeah, it's a good one. Just, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save my token. Let's <laughs> your token? Yeah. You're not token, you get whatever you want. No, I save my token. That's it and all of its glory. Look at that nice cheesy goodness. <laughs> Hopefully next time they'll have double indemnity at least um and they'll, they'll they'll also have raging bull because that's coming out really soon so oh I'm, that one's really good i'm gonna be buying the shit out of raging bull <laughs> and double indemnity so be on the lookout for that next time mm -hmm. and um that's it also join the discord if you're interested yeah. we can around talk about film all day i'll just talk about a lot of things that we should be talking about yeah. <laughs> but well, we talk about anyway appropriate things guys come on join it's real good feels good <laughs> we're also gonna have a movie night tonight it's cynics movie night so mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, but other than that, thank you so much for watching this video and be on the lookout for more this month. <laughs> All right. <laughs> On top of the latest film content. I don't, I don't know. See? Peace. Thank you.